The following past paper question reads that uh, for the element sulfur, which pair of ionization energies has uh, the largest difference between them? And uh, we remember we're talking about the sulfur atom, so I'm going to first draw what a sulfur atom looks like. So this over here, I've drawn a, a diagram for a sulfur atom, and as you can notice, uh, remember we are talking about the ionization energies, and uh, we're trying to remove electrons from sulfur. So uh, we're going to start off with the outer shells. We're going to try and remove the outer shell electrons first. Now, one thing that you would notice is that the outer shell electrons they are further from the nucleus. The nucleus is the the sixteen protons in the nucleus are the ones that are attracting these electrons. So the outer electrons are very far away from the nucleus. Uh, the distance uh, is very large and there's a lot of shielding effect. There are a lot of inner electrons that would be shielding this positive nucleus over here. So this positive nucleus would be shielded by these inner electrons. So these outer electrons over here, they would not be attracted very strongly to the 16 protons. So um, uh, there's more shielding effect and there's a larger distance so it becomes easier to actually remove these electrons. So I've uh, also written down the points, uh, the reason why it's easier to remove electrons far away and there's more shielding. So I'm going to start removing the electrons. Uh, removing the first electron would be the first ionization energy. So getting rid of this electron would actually be relatively easy. Similarly, I'm going to try and remove the second. So this is your first ionization energy. Removing the second electron would also be relatively easy. Uh, it's uh, the distance is far away and uh, the shielding effect is still there removing the third electron is also relatively going to be easy removing the fourth electron similarly is easier fifth would be easy as well and removing the sixth electron would also be easy uh, the the uh, the difficulty of removing electron would be only very slightly increasing because every time you remove an electron the positive charge on the ion it increases so I've removed uh, one two three four five and six electrons so removing the first six electrons would be relatively easy but what happens when you remove the sixth electron if you try if you remove the seventh electron if you try to remove the seventh electron the seventh electron is now closer to the nu nucleus so let's say this is this is my seventh electron that I'm trying to remove this electron is closer to the nucleus and the shielding effect is also much lesser because now you just have one shell between the nucleus and this electron. So removing this electron would become uh, very, very difficult compared to the six electrons, these outer electrons. So as you move from the sixth ionization energy and you try to remove the seventh electron or you're talking about the seventh ionization energy, removing the seventh electron would drastically become more difficult. The electron is closer to the nucleus and the shielding effect is lesser so the answer to this question is going to be it's going to be option D there's going to be a, a large difference between the sixth and seventh ionization energy